I don't think I make it out of this. Hello everyone, my name is Arya and welcome to the video. Let's talk about throwing axes. I would argue that throwing axes are one of the most picked tools in the game right after the mandatory ones like a medkit, a knuckle knife, and choke bombs. I bring them in most of my loadouts, but they're almost always relegated to either AI clearing or helping with boss takedowns. But a few days before Tide of Corruption launched, I was playing Call of Duty and running around with my favorite lethal the throwing knife and found myself wishing that there were throwing knives in Hunt. Which I then realize is stupid, because there already are, they just suck for PvP since they can't one-hit a hunter to the chest. But then I remembered that while throwing knives suck, the throwing axes are more than capable of taking down a full health hunter. And with the amazing new cleaver skin that we got with Tide of Corruption, why not bring them along with the intention of chopping more than just grunts and armoreds? But I didn't just run throwing axes, but before I show you the loadout, this is your friendly reminder that this was all streamed over on my Twitch, link and schedule in the description below, and if you like the videos here on YouTube, maybe consider clicking the subscribe button. But back on topic, for a loadout I ran the new Springfield Bayonet with half poison and half regular ammo, and a PAX sometimes with poison and sometimes with FMJ. The Springfield Bayonet, it, it sure is a Springfield Bayonet. I don't really know what there is to say about it, it's just a Springfield with a pokey stick on the end of it. And that's not to say that that's a bad thing, because I love the Springfield, and I decided that since I almost always run Doom Doom on it, for the sake of variety and to not get countered by Infernal Pact users, I thought I'd give Poison Ammo a try. It can help speed up boss takedowns if you're in a hurry, and tagging a hunter forces them into cover for a while unless they have an antidote shot. As for the packs, I either ran it with more poison ammo to boost my Springfield reserves, or FMJ to turn it into the upper cute and go for wallbangs on hunters waiting for their poison to go away. I purposely did not get fanning on this loadout, meaning that if someone charged me, my options were either a headshot, a bayonet charge, or a throwing axe, and given the title of the video, I'm sure you can guess what I chose to go for 99% of the time. They take a bit of practice, and I'm still relatively new to throwing axe PvP, but sometimes the best practice is just to go for it, because if you do manage to land one, it's one of the sickest and most satisfying ways to win a fight in Hunt Showdown. So enough talk, and into the matches we go. Took a nappy, maybe. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. There's people. No, we stopped. <laughs> Stop moving. Alright, well, we got shotguns, we got traps. God damn. I hope I can maybe make it up into the tower here and get a line of sight on anyone on the balcony. Sad. We're inside now. They're gonna see that I'm up here. I think someone got Concertina bombed. <laughs> yeah, they're breaking that now. I don't want to stay up here for too much longer. I think one picked up though. And that is that. That is the reason why. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be hitting much from there. Well, I know I'm here. I kind of want to clear out. Ooh, okay. Silent shot. I kind of want to clear out like this hive and the emulator here. Closer. Are they still fighting? Is 
through the window. Was through the window. Oh my. Shoot that out as well. So I can see a little bit better if anyone goes for that. One. Person with the f***ing Mosin. Ow. I don't think they're gonna push this, they're probably gonna use this as a time to get their friend up. I'm just gonna edge my medkit for a sec. to worry about that beetle since I have my regen shot, but still. Yeah, just do it. Do it. <sighs> Not pushing this? They're burning bodies right now. Makes me think that they think I'm not solo. Get the shit out of me. There's metal. Where are you guys at? One's in that window over here, 100%. At least one of these windows. I gotta make it out of this. Who are you? Who was this fing guy? Come on. Who is this person? Okay. Told you people were playing slow. God damn. Damn rats. <laughs> Might be able to pick up. I don't have resilience, but we'll see. I am in like a terrible spot to pick up right now. <laughs> throwing eggs. Yeah, the throwing eggs was kind of nice. I'm, I'm kind of proud of that one. Anybody 
ruins the clutch. It was going so well, I totally could have got away if that person wasn't there. They're going back inside. Someone's right on my body, though. We'll give it a sec. Yeah, back to the passive plays. Yeah, someone is sitting right on my body, it sounds like. We'll see if I hear them push. If they push, then I can... I think this is my moment. Someone's right close by. Not a pumpkin. I need to move somewhere I can actually fall back. back to regular for this. So this is I think is the first team. to play this like very hit and run. One is getting bead. I think he's in there, like down below. Mosin is a little bit scary. I need I need the Mosin off the board.
I got shot at by a silent weapon too. Probably know where I am pretty damn well. Uh, I should have hit that. more rotates. I just need to kind of keep them guessing. Make them waste their dark side boost. Until I can get that Mosin down and then I can then I can start making more aggressive plays. More ammo would be nice, but what can you do? Oh they're just making a run for it. may have played this too slow. They might get away with this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, fair enough. Let's see what I can do here. I don't have anything to throw, which is a problem. that more. Okay, I kind of knew that was going to happen. Whatever, they're gone. I did not get killed by the Centennial, I don't think at least. Well, that's unfortunate, and I don't think I have enough to go for, enough time to go for Rothjaw. Well, that's a little sad. I definitely do think that there is... I guess I can head back and loot people at least. I can at least go and do that. Yeah, I heard footsteps here. I I just really fixated on that girl because I knew she had been downed a couple of times. So a chest shot would have killed her, but oh well. A pattern that emerges with all these matches is, yes, throwing axe kills, but also a slight infestation of rats. As I said in the last video, this event feels like hunt rat down with how many people just hide in bushes as soon as the fighting starts, or people who just run away as soon as they pick up a bounty, and believe me, you're going to be seeing a lot of the latter in all of the matches in this video. At least hitting an Uno reverse throwing axe on a melee charge eases the pain, even if only slightly. what that guy was trying to do, but... Sure are taking poison damage. Someone right there? Can't tell. I think I'm gonna try and go for a, for a bit of a rotate here. Try and approach from a different angle.
Oh my god. I don't know how those guys didn't hear me or see me. That wasn't a headshot, but we take it. Whoa, is this the same? Oh my god, this might be the same team from the guy that I got already? Okay, we just have one more. The guy with the incendiary. And I am better equipped to deal with him now than it was before. He might still be down below. No! You do not get to do that to me. Bad. You fucking scared me! <laughs> being down here. I'm gonna go somewhere else. <laughs> feel like someone was down below. I also don't know if this building's clear. I'm gonna assume so because it looked like that team that I just got. Um... It looks like they all died from there. Oh, Bounty Team's leaving. Okay, I guess they don't want to have fun. With the new event starting, I have ended my Necro Cleanse from the month in between Tide of Shadows and Tide of Corruption, and I honestly really enjoyed not having to worry about tanking my MMR due to solo Necro. That being said though, not having any second chances did kind of sting, because let's be honest, sometimes that second chance is all you need to make a super clutch play that will absolutely have your enemies shouting at each other over Discord. Hi. Where's the frag bombs? Sound like they're pushing this yet? Maybe they are though, I don't know. They're gonna have like infinite amounts of frag arrows because it's scrap beak. Ow! Fuck you. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I'm not going to be able to stop her from getting picked up, but still. Maybe I will. Probably not, though. That was a, that was a really good bow shot. But... Oh, she's, she's back up again? <laughs> Unless there are multiple people with frag arrows, but I find that unlikely. 
I have a feeling they're just going to bum rush me as soon as they pick up. I also have no idea if the other guy, if the infected is still alive in the White House. He might be. Seems hard to say. They're probably going to pick up though and like immediately charge this, so... Uh, what am I doing? Traded. Who are you? Where are you from? Your stinky high velocity. We're gonna pick up and both see each other, aren't we? Nope. Oh god, no, this is a new team. Unless that's bounty, that's not bounty. This is an entirely new team. Bounty might just leave. out. Now for the fun game of where is this person? Think I see a guy still dead there. I just dip in. Come on guys, really? That's rough. Headshot too, fair enough. I think they're probably gonna sit on me, and uh it's not gonna be it's not gonna be good. They're looting. They saw me pick up, so they should know what's going on. stuck and I can't see. Did she get her friend up? I think I still see him up there. Oh, I'd be pissed. Oh, I'd be pissed. <laughs> I would be so fucking pissed. Let's see if anyone comes to save her, I guess. <laughs> I would be so mad. I'm less so burning her out, more so seeing if anyone comes to save her. I will, I will say, respect to her, because she also tried to throwing X, and I heard a throwing X fly past me. Mad respect to her, but... <laughs> oh 
Bye. And that's all for me. Throwing axes are a little bit tricky to get the hang of for PvP, but you miss 100% of the axes that you don't throw, or whatever Wayne Gretzky said that one time. And even if it hits by complete luck, your enemies don't have to know that, and they'll probably be too busy gasping at disbelief at the throwing axe on the desk screen to notice anyways. Thanks for watching. A big thank you to all of my silly tier patrons and above, I really appreciate your support. If you want to become a patron and get exclusive rewards for as little as $2 a month, you can find a link in the description below. 